seems like there's a general trend of guys being nicer with each other. Over the years, guys have just gotten softer and easier on one another. And we're becoming more and more sensitive to people's feelings, which is a fucking problem. It is a fucking problem. And first things first, I just want to say, apply for my coaching program. But I want to I want to share a story about my coaching program because one thing we have implemented recently is group calls. And I actually got this idea from the book, The Way of the Superior Man, where it said you should meet with your male friends once a month and discuss what you're doing in your life and what you are afraid doing, afraid of doing. And when that, when that, when I heard that, that just clicked something in my brain. That clicked something in my brain, right? So I took it to my coaching program clients and I started implementing group masculinity calls. Group masculinity calls as an opportunity for all of us to grow because Fitness, the way I see it, is just a tool for personal development. And mental and physical fitness go hand in hand. A big thing that the probably the biggest thing, the biggest thing, fuck it, the biggest thing that is going to knock you off your results in the gym is going to be mental health. If your mental health is correct, you will want to eat that chicken and rice. You will want to hit those hard ass workouts. You will want to sleep eight hours. But see, it's, it's, it's those mental health issues that will knock you off. But I don't believe in, as men, solving mental health issues from, a, oh, I'm going to be kind and positive towards you, or we're going to address your feelings. No, let's address the root fucking cause. That's what we're supposed to do as men. Leave that shit for the women. Because as men, we need to find the root cause of our fucking problems. So I took this to the to to the to the to the coaching clients, right? I took this to my guys. And if any of them are watching this right now, don't get offended at this. I'm just stating the truth. Right? We came on these first couple calls. And the idea was we all share what is going on in our life and what we are afraid of doing. And as we brought up what we're afraid of doing, two things I noticed. Some guys held back, acted like they were not afraid of doing things. And more importantly, guys were way too fucking nice to each other. We were supposed to come up as men with the solution for that person's problems and give them some concrete action to do. But guys don't wanna voice up. Guys don't wanna hurt another man's feelings. Guys don't wanna hurt another man's feelings, which is a fucking problem. It's a problem when you're too nice. Because that's what we're taught nowadays. We are taught to be fucking nice. But that is a problem. That's why you guys are getting stepped all over by these women. And they feel no fucking remorse in it. And then you're wondering why you're getting played. It's because you're too fucking nice. You're not supposed to be nice. That's not a respectable trait. Be polite, be respectful, but don't be nice. Guys are being way too nice to each other. And I find myself as the only one speaking up and addressing people's problems. People feel a certain type of way inside and all the other guys were like, no, no, you're good. No, it doesn't happen. Yes, motherfucker, it is. You are right. Your suspicions are right. 
feel like a loser? You are a loser! Now what the fuck are you gonna do? What the fuck are you gonna do about it? Because that's love. That's love. I'm not some meathead that just comes out here and screams. I'm somebody that loves life. Because I damn near lost my own. That's why I appreciate this shit. That's why I give my gift. That's why I don't hold back. I'm not some roid raged fucking meathead. I'm somebody that is passionate. I'm the friend that is gonna be there when shit is the worst for you. When shit hits the fan. I don't wanna fucking see you when things are going good for you. I'm gonna be the guy that tells you how it is. Because that's what I needed in my life. And nobody ever gave that to me. When I most needed it. But you know what they do instead? Because they don't want to hurt your feelings. They'll separate themselves from you. They won't show you that love anymore because now you're dealing with your own problems, but you can't figure out why. Now you're dealing with your own problems and you can't figure out why. And you're going through all this shit and everybody around you is telling you, no, you're fine. You're not fine. You have a fucking problem. Let's address it. I'm the guy that's gonna tell you how it is because I fucking love you. Not in a not in a gay way. I love you in a brotherly way. And it's not even my love for you. I, it is, but it it it's my love for fucking life. Because I needed that. I needed that. But you're gonna throw, you're, you're gonna let your friend, one of your good friends down. You're gonna let him sink himself into drug addiction, into bad habits, down a dark fucking path, just because you're afraid of how he'll see you. That is not love. This is love. Love is fucking hard. Love is an action. It is not an emotion. Love is an action, not an emotion. That is why women can only love when you are fully present and loving. Because women are completely majority emotional. Love is an action. Love is not. Love, love, love is not that, that, that fucking boner that you get when you see that, that big booty chick. Love is what's past that. Love is, love is not that fucking lust in a relationship. That's an emotion. Love is seeing past that. Love is, I want to, I want to build my fucking life with you. I, we want to, I want to build something around you. Love is my fucking, is my fucking, it, it's your love for everything. It, 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 it's something, it's, it's a conscious decision. It's fully fucking conscious. And when I'm coming on these videos, this is a fully fucking conscious decision. I'm not angry. I'm not reacting. I don't have to do this for you. I don't have to give you this motivation. It's because I fucking love you. Why am I yelling while I'm saying it? Because I was there. 
I was there popping pills every single day. I was there, almost lost my life because nobody told me shit otherwise. It's not because I have an ego. I got to. I got to tell you that you look like the fucking Pillsbury Doughboy. Look at yourself. You look soft as a fucking, as a fucking, and you look to, as soft as the Pillsbury fucking Doughboy. You soft white motherfucker. Look at you. And the only reason I yell is because that's the only way a lot of you will hear it. Because if I come in with that flaccid penis energy, nobody's gonna hear it. So what am I supposed to do? Hold back? But this is what they call toxic masculinity nowadays. I'm trying to save guys' lives. I'm trying to save them from taking their lives, taking somebody else's lives, but it's toxic. toxic when you tell the truth. That's the highest form of spirituality. Tell them the truth. It's toxic though. It's toxic because they want to see everything baseline. We're too fucking nice to each other. You separate yourself instead of trying to actually help your friend. You won't help him work through it because you're too fucking pussy to help him work through it. That's why I do the things that I do because I'm, I'm becoming the man that I fucking needed. It is out of anger, it is out of love. Because I pulled myself out of that. I pulled myself out of that. You gotta be able to tell a motherfucker how it is. That's how you, that's, that's, that's how you show them you really love them. That's how you really help them. But are you just gonna be a crab? Are you going to be a fucking crab like all these other motherfuckers and not help your buddy out? Laugh at him. Don't tell him. Don't don't point out any of his flaws. Don't tell him what's going on. Just be nice to him. It's time we start embracing masculinity. It is time we start being harder on each other. It is time we start holding each other to a higher standard. When I look at some of the times that were most influential for my growth, my dad was always pretty hard on me, but my dad was also not home a lot. He worked two jobs and this is not to bag on him. I love my fucking dad, but I grew up around a lot of women. And when I look at some of the most influential times in my life, it was when I was with two of my closest buddies in high school. And we would ride, we would, we would either catch the train together to school every single day, or we would drive together every single day to school. Oh man, we would bag on each other to the point where one of us would be almost crying. And we're, <laughs> we're 15, 16, 17 years old. And we're, and we're breaking each other down that much. The shit would ruin your whole fucking day. The, the jokes that would be told. There was no filter. But those, those car rides, those train rides helped me become a fucking man. They led to so much personal development because it calls out all your character flaws so that you can actually fucking work on them. But if you don't know what your flaws are, how are you going to work on them? Think about how you would want to be treated. Because I guarantee 
you would say, oh, I want them to tell me the truth. So why are you not going to tell your friends the truth? Because you're too concerned about yourself? Or you're worried that if you tell them, they might clap back at you? If they clap back at you, good! That is productive. That is growth. That is growth. That war between you, that, that conflict, there should be a little bit of tension between men. There should be. That's productive. You gotta be able to see through that and respect it, respect it and see I'm this way and he's this way, so we're not going to butt heads. I respect a strong man. I respect, shake hands. There's a tension there, but you shake hands. You ever had a motherfucker? You ever seen a motherfucker like at the gym or something? And that motherfucker's walking around like he's the shit. Or he's walking around and it's making you a little bit intimidated. But he's respectful towards you. And you, maybe you shake hands, maybe you dap him up, but every time you walk past him, you feel a little bit tense. That's how you should feel. That's how you should feel. But a lot of guys are walking around with no sort of fucking guidance in their life. Their old man doesn't tell them shit. Their friends don't tell them shit because their friends, their friends are too fucking pussy to do it themselves. Little fucking bitches. The majority of you guys need compression. There is compression and there is compassion. The guys who are used to getting compassion need compression. And the guys who are used to getting compression need compassion. It's that balance. It's that balance. And it's all it's all because we're throwing masculinity out the door. Motherfuckers wanting to go take their lives, take take their woman's lives. Motherfuckers not knowing why they're getting played in the relationship. Yeah, all because of this. You know how fucked up that is? You won't tell your friends what's really going on with them? I had a kid come onto the program months ago and he always felt like motherfuckers were bagging on him at work. He always felt like his job was taking advantage of him and stuff like that. And when he talked to his friends, his friends would never tell him shit. They would tell him, oh, it's made up in your head. Why would you think that? These same friends who are letting him eat fast food with them. Every time! The kid was 100 pounds over fucking weight. And his friends are telling him this. Those are not your friends! Those are leeches! I don't tell you this because I'm some fucking jacked guy that has an ego. No, I tell you this because I have been in your shoes and I know what you need. You got to be able to hear that. We got to be able to give each other constructive criticism. You got to be able to give it and you got to be able to take it. And you can't close up. Anytime you close up, that is a weak emotion. Anytime you close up as a man, that is weak. You got to be able to open up. That's it, guys. If you don't have anybody in your life like that right now, apply for my coaching program. Join the community. Let's get on these calls today. I want you part of the community because together we are growing and we are pushing each other. And if nobody else is going to push you, I fucking am. I'm going to be that guy that is going to tell you your promise. I'm going to be that guy that is going to tell you, yes, it is real. It's not all made up in your head. Because that's what you fucking need. That's it.